I literally had to build and use a time machine to remember where I've been in Mystery Lake during this particular run, but I'm back now, and the timeline is hopefully intact. Hello, Legion. This is Hadria. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where I have just woken up. It is the end of the night. I'm going to go ahead. I did drink some water right as I kicked off this particular... Well, right before I started this recording, because I didn't want a certain someone to interrupt my intro, which has been happening more often than usual lately, and I'm trying not to hold it against her because she's stressed out. It's a... It's a um, it's a difficult situation she finds herself in, and we're trying to help her through it as best we can. So, we are back in Mystery Lake, and if you need a bit of a refresher, because a bit of a refresher, words, it has been topsy-turvy with the schedule for those of you in the live audience. Those of you in the backlog audience, you're watching the series through, and it's fine. But <laughs> the live audience has been on a journey, so uh, as have I. So, here's kind of where we have been with this. Also, do I have additional lantern fuel? I think I do. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Also, I might need to repair some of my clothes before I go anywhere. Nope. No lantern fuel. Interesting. In that case, let's get moving. So, we started this run in Mystery Lake, which I had genuinely forgotten. You know what else I forgot? There's a prepper cache, not a prepper cache, but a, well, I suppose you call it a prepper cache, but a, um, one of the secret caches. When I think of a prepper cache, I think of the original prepper caches, which technically no longer exists, so it's weird to call what we found a prepper cache, because there was so much stuff in it. But it was an incredibly lucky find. But in truth, I actually didn't go very far beyond that point. We started at the camp office area. We went up to the tower first thing. We explored the houses around the lake, but we didn't do much of anything else. We pretty much went straight into Milton. So with that in mind, I know it's a little bit dark. I'm trying to conserve my lantern fuel, hopefully with the resolution of recording as it presently is. Hopefully you're not um, having too much trouble seeing. The YouTube algorithm can wreak havoc, I know. But... I'm making my way around the back side of this zone. Not likely to run into any wolves. But as long as I keep moving, there will be more shelter to be discovered before long. So we have not visited the dam at all during this run. I would also like to run back by the camp office because that would be a great place for me to grab some ptarmigan down. If I could uh, nab me a few of those, that would be nice. And even, now that I think about it, before I leave the camp office area, if I need to swing back by trappers one more time, just to make sure that I have everything I need in case I don't come back for a while, then I will do that. But again, we're playing on lighter loot tables, so anything that's still in that locker that I didn't bring with me, I can probably find again. I'm not worried about it too much. The sun is going to start rising soon, so I know it's quite dark, but it's going to start getting... That's already started, actually. It's going to start getting gradually brighter. Very pretty snowy morning, and it's actually not that cold, in part because we now have better underwear. We have the best possible underwear we can now have. Two pairs of the woolly long johns. Wool long johns, woolly long johns. Not, for the record, made from mammoth fur, in case anyone was confused. Okay, I'm gonna poke my head over here and see if I can make this. Oh, you're fine. Let's see if we can make it down to. Okay, we've got a bit of weather coming. Alright, here's the. Timing's not great on this weather, but at the same time, I know where I am. I just don't want to walk right up on the bear right now. Tell you what, let's get a lantern out. Oh, it's so cold. It's a sink. Oh, 
Broken Arrow. Interesting. Pork and beans. Newsprint roll. And nothing else. Oh, there's the bear. Running, 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 running. The bear is literally right to my right. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Okay, he's going the other way. Jeez. Okay. <sighs> that was rather cavalier of me, I know. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Let's go a little farther here, and we are home free for a little while longer. Might have to sit out some bad weather, but that's okay. We are home free. I'm going to keep the lantern out because it will help me see things. Do I have my pry bar with me? I should. I do. Although, if there's a pry bar here in this door, which there isn't, actually. Never mind. No pry bar. I was going to say it might be better condition, but I suppose not. I suppose not. Alright, so there's some books. Let's see what we've got. This could be an interesting... Um, interesting little uh, brief visit to Mystery Lake because there's the potential for so much stuff. There's accelerant. Okay. I'm just gonna put this away for a moment and what we're gonna do... The sun's not up yet so I can't repair anything just now, but let's go ahead and sleep for a few hours. We'll wake up. We will be able to repair things. And here's what I want to do. Let's see. Ooh, the pork and beans are actually in good condition. Let's eat those. Get rid of the extra weight and consume those calories. Also a bit of vitamin C. Scurvy hasn't been a factor yet, but we are keeping our eye on that as best we can. Okay. Clothing repair. Oh, I have this worn hoodie that I can harvest. Let's do that. It'll take 45 minutes. I do need some more water, but we will find some more water, that is a fact. Okay, let's go ahead and repair the long johns. They are both about 10% down, so repairing them both is the equivalent of a single 20% re repair, give or take. That will come in handy. Especially given that they are... I mean, it's nice underwear. It is. It genuinely is. Alright, the new Mackinac jacket we will also repair. That's going to take a little bit more cloth, but it's worth it. The weather seems to have calmed down as well, which is good timing. Okay, um, I don't think any of the rest of the repairs are really going to be worth it. That wolf attack managed not to do too much damage to my clothing, which is nice. So let's head back out. All right, now the question is, where do we go from here? Because there are a couple different options. I need water. So there's a part of me that's tempted to go straight to the dam. If I just want to grab water out of toilets. And also there's stuff to loot there. There could potentially be a lot to loot there. The main thing I'd be interested in is more ammunition from the dam. Alright, there's a deer. Ooh. Should I... Should I? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Not the guts, but what if I just took the hide? It would take 30 minutes. If we had a deer hide curing here in Mystery Lake, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That might not have even been the best tool to use, now that I think about it. Although for the hide, I don't think that a different tool matters too much. Alright, so there's that. Weather's turning worse again. We are cold. Now, I have been up to the top of the standing tower. The original hilltop, however, I have not visited. So I could veer that way really quickly. It's just that I need to be mindful of the cold. Damn, I'm freezing. I don't want to lose too much condition, but I could afford to lose some. That's, the hypothermia risk would be the other factor. So we'll keep an eye on that. There's a wolf. Okay, let's see if we can safely hop down this way. There we go. 
That was a little bit of a longer drop than I intended, but we survived it. Thankfully, the wind is at our back. Okay. Might be some loot along these fences, as the OG players know very well. <laughs> Although, I suppose those kinds of comments are no longer um, perfectly accurate, right? Because of the loot table refresh. So, maybe not. I will still look for a certain backpack, though. So crazy right now. Oh, you're fine. We will get some more water. I'll make some if I have to. Actually, don't I have some? I do, actually. Let's drink the last of it. That way we're not worrying about that. And Jennifer's not worrying about it either. Because, again, stressful situation. We don't want her to stress. That would be bad. <laughs> we're stressed enough on her behalf. Well, kind of. Be more stressed if this was interloper adjacent, but it's not. We're learning. We're exploring. We're enjoying. It's great. It's just that we happen to be in the original zone. <laughs> the one that we know the most. So we'll try and make this quick. If you missed the last episode, we are headed to Bleak Inlet by way of Mystery Lake. I was going to go straight to Bleak Inlet from Forlorn Muskeg, but as I thought about it... Oh, holy! I forgot these guys were here, or didn't know they were here, either one, but I will definitely be taking this opportunity to shoot me some ptarmigan. They're standing perfectly on top of the snow, which makes me happy. It'll be easier to hit. Now I am a little shaky, so I want to get super close. Got one, and that might be enough. Heck yeah. Alright. That might be all I needed. Alright, so here's a memento cache and a memento key. Reclaimed wood. I think I can use this. Water purification tablets, which I probably don't need, let's be honest. Let me grab a little bit more wood. I might start a fire here on the mountaintop. I don't need the mountaineering rope, but I, I could be able to use that to climb down. It's just that I'm encumbered. All right, there's some more reclaimed wood. There's a feather. There's another feather. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Metal container. Uh, T-shirt. Don't really need a T-shirt game, but thanks for that, I guess. Am I completely protected from the wind in here, I wonder? Seems like I am. Yeah, seems like I am. Okay, well in that case, let's see if a fire will get warm enough in here. It might not, but we'll try. Just to warm up for a bit. While we maybe, you know, deal with that ptarmigan. Because I don't want to be wandering around with ptarmigan carcass while there are wolves in the area. That's just asking for trouble. And all I need... All I need are the feathers. All right, right then, wood, stick, steak. Okay, we are good. Hello? Oh, let's put the ptarmigan carcass down just so we don't lure our freaking company up here. All right. All right, so that's going to give it some additional warmth. Very nice. Okay, well, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and get some water going. I'm going to just fully trust that this will work. All right, Tarming and Carcass. Harvest it. Oof. Okay. Um, It's only four units. I need five to repair the bedroll, unfortunately. So let's do this 30 minutes at a time. Hang on. Is it going to be... Yeah, it's going to be 30 minutes regardless. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Still getting used to the animations. <laughs> okay. Potable water. Let's go ahead and drink that. Nice! Carcass harvesting just improved, which means the rest of this might go a little bit faster. Alright, that snow is still melting, as expected. Let's harvest another... Yep. Perfect. Alright, the weather is improving a bit, but I just... 
I don't necessarily trust the wind in this little shelter. Like, if it comes from just the right angle, I would hate to find myself in a bad situation. So I'm just choosing to continue doing this one at a time. That's a very lucky ptarmigan find. Although part of me wishes I had taken a shot at the second one. I'm not going to lie. All right, that is one minute until boiled, so we have time to do one more feather. And I could technically harvest the meat. Okay, that's that. Let's drink that, and I'll have plenty remaining. How much time's left on the fire? Still two hours, 33 minutes. Fire's plenty warm, so this worked out. Um, question is, should I go ahead and harvest the meat? I think I should, because that's only gonna take five minutes. So this somewhat reduces the need to go back to the camp office, but I still need to go back for one more feather. It just guarantees that the next ptarmigan I kill will give me what I need, which is nice. Can't complain about that. All right, so, man, I really wish the frickin' skillet would be placeable from the radial. That would be nice. Don't we all, though? Don't we all? Okay, so 451 calories. Let's eat that. And with that, um, let's see. I have some beverages in here, which I can heat. So I'm going to do that because you never know if that might come in handy. I can drink one just to make sure I stay warm. But I also don't necessarily need to do that. Part of me is tempted just to go ahead and heat these for the sake of heating them. All right, so let's add those back. Transfer. Perfect. Heat those. Looks like I can make some rosehip tea as well. Perfect. I'll hold off on that though, because I do want to make sure I can make it to my next destination. So that tower is where we've originally been. It is possible to get to the top of this tower, by the way. I've done it. Not going to do it right now. Because I do actually kind of want to get out of Mystery Lake. As much as we love this zone, and as pretty as it is, I can't help but be conscious of the fact that the series, for those of you, again, in the live audience, the series did take an unexpectedly long break. And even before that, it, the schedule was kind of spotty. So there's a part of me that's like, hmm, let's... Let's make up for that by really pressing forward. I know not everyone minds. I'm really just trying to be considerate and also thinking in terms of what would make things more engaging for me as well, given that we are, we are in Mystery Lake and I've spent a lot of time here, as we all have. So let's head back down this way. We're going to be tired pretty soon. Exhaustion rate is definitely still pretty decent. Because I was fully rested not long ago. What does it take to repair this thing? Oh, I have five ptarmigan down now. Really? So I must have already had some in my inventory. Interesting. I already had two in my inventory. I didn't realize that. Okay, so now I just need cloth. Perfect. I'm glad that I pulled that back into my inventory off the travel at some point. I clearly remember to do that. Oh, that. Ooh. Hello, three wolves. I genuinely do not remember the last time I saw not one, not two, but three wolves right here. That is wild. Okay. But that's also kind of nice because if I can get past them. Then I don't have to worry about wolves a little farther away. Yeah, they're all down there. Perfect. Alright, I do want to watch for a certain backpack. I know we just raided one, looted one, scavenged one, whatever word you want to use. 
I'm just gonna go with raided. We raided the backpack, okay? Thoroughly and ruthlessly raided the backpack. The backpack was pillaged. Now that it's been pillaged, I wanna see if there's another backpack to pillage and plunder right here. No, there is not. Just wanted to check. <laughs> Hang on, let's get a little closer, make sure it's not an LOD issue. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I'm too close for it to be an LOD issue, but it's a funny thought. LOD stands for level of detail, for those of you who are not in the know. And it has to do with objects popping in to view at closer distances or objects gaining more details at closer distances so that things that are farther away are less cumbersome for a computer to render in a 3D environment like this. And then as you get closer, it shows you the higher detail versions that are harder to render. Hence, level of detail. Alright, so this is one more pit stop here. Making good progress through the areas that we haven't visited yet. I see a deer. A buck, to be precise. And there's a dead guy. Interestingly enough. It's actually not that cold at the moment. Which is quite nice. I wonder if before development on the Long Dark slows down to more post-development speeds. Like, they'll always patch it if they find problems, right? But we're reaching the end of the Long Dark's development cycle, as sad as that is to say. I wonder if they'll... I've talked about this before, but I wonder if they'll make male deer with their antlers, now that female deer are in the game. I wonder if they'll make them aggressive. Or, or at least create the potential for them to be aggressive, where they might, like, charge you. I don't know that I would mind that. There's a wolf right over there, just chilling by the deer. We all saw that. They're hanging out. They think we didn't see it, but we saw it. We saw. Okay, let's see what we got. There is good potential starting now, and really for the next of this episode and probably the next one, to find a lot of stuff. So there's going to be some inventory management for sure. All right, so there's some jeans. That's the cloth that I needed. There's some more mittens. Perfect. There's some more matches, which <laughs> God knows I got plenty of those. I'm not Insulated boots. For much longer. Reclaimed wood. I will pick up the reclaimed wood because you never know if I might have another opportunity to make fire. Did I get both of these? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And is there anything under any of the beds? I don't see anything. Okay. Don't need the newsprint. There is no first aid kit. So, oh, hello. I cannot run. If that wolf were to run up to me right now, I'd have to shoot him in the face because I can't move any faster than this. How heavy are those insulated boots? My God. Are you serious? Oh, I guess I'm a little tired. That's fair. Okay, so I have this fresh deer hide. I need need to remember that, because... Oh, advanced guns, guns, guns. We'll okay, it. well, the advanced guns, guns, guns takes a while to do anything with, but at least I'm getting clothing that I can break down. Better shell, nice. Do I have the... Yes, I did. I brought the... Flare gun. Just making sure. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, granola bar. Nice. There's a part of me that wants to just... Did I search that? No, I didn't. I wants to just rest here, given that I'm encumbered, but I, I want to go ahead and check the final cabin, and we'll sleep there, 
recover some condition, etc. Yeah, it's not too far. It would just suck if that wolf was right here ready to pounce. Remember, that's one thing that hasn't happened yet this series, but I've mentioned it several times. One of the custom settings that we're running with... Oh, dead guy. I picked the cabin with the dead guy. Great. More wood matches. Great. Nothing like sharing a cabin with a corpse. One thing we haven't run into yet is there is a custom setting we are running that makes the wolves potentially spawn closer to exits from interior areas than is typical in any other setting, including Interloper. That's one thing we did to kind of make this run spicier, but I don't know that we've really seen a significant impact. Okay, we're going to sleep on the opposite side of the room from the corpse and pretend that that is going to do any good at all. Thank God that the Long Dark does not have smell of vision I'll be honest, if the Long Dark had smell of vision I probably wouldn't play it. <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat both of these energy bars because they're lower condition. I am not even gonna touch those sardines. Sorry. <laughs> That's not something I'm gonna allow to happen. And now I have some clothing to rip up. Let's go ahead and harvest this. We can repair the bedroll for sure. And I'm going to do that right now before I lose any more daylight. If I fail at this... Oh, I need two cloth. I didn't realize I didn't have any cloth whatsoever. Well, thankfully, that's easily procured. Harvest that. Okay, let's harvest that as well. All right, we will definitely need to kill another ptarmigan if this repair doesn't go through. Chance of success, 84%. Don't let me down, Jennifer. Please don't let me down. Got it. Oh, wow, that didn't fully repair it, though. <gasps> what? Okay, well, now we, now we have to kill another ptarmigan. <laughs> we have to. Them's the rules. So let's go ahead and harvest this arrow that we found. I can harvest a few other things too. Still got the uh, travel offer when we really need it. I need to remember that. It's just that I don't need to drag it behind me everywhere I go. Okay. Right. The main thing that I need to break down are those freaking insulated boots. They are way too restrictive of movement. Hour and 30 minutes. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. This is actually quite handy because it allows me to pass a significant chunk of time, making my character more tired and enabling me to sleep for longer now that I actually would like to sleep. All right, so there's that. I guess we can harvest the t-shirt too. So we'll have all the cloth we need to finish repairing the bedroom, but we need more ptarmigan down. I know. I know. There's a part of me that's tempted to go ahead and repair the rest of the stuff, but it's just penny pinching for repairs at this point. All right. There is also this fire log that's taking up a lot of weight, and I don't know that I need to lug that around with me everywhere I go. Also this antiseptic, the water purification tablets, anything else. Yeah, that helps with the burden a bit. Yeah, we have the advanced guns, 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 which I shall have to read once the sun has risen. And there is the fresh deer hide, which I will... Hang on. Let's get out the lantern. No, I don't want to sleep. I want to light the lantern so I can drop the deer hide by the door and thus not forget about it. I should have had it curing this entire time, if I'm being totally honest. But at least while we're here and sleeping, that can be getting done. Okay, let's go ahead and drink some water before I go to sleep. And sleep for about 10 hours. I'm going to say 11. Definitely not going to get 11. But on the off chance that was like 10 in a minute, I want to get the full amount of sleep. Nice. The sun has risen. This rose hip pie is ruined. That's a shame. That's okay, though. Rosehip pie gives you a headache when you eat it, so it's like 
It's not the most appetizing thing for me to look at as I move around the world. The weather actually sounds pretty good. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, not bad. Let's go ahead and get the rifle out just in case that wolf decides he wants to say hello. It does feel really good. It, I, I'm kind of... I'm grateful for the learning experience, but I'm so happy. It feels really good that I'm not lugging the travel wall behind me everywhere anymore. I just... Yeah, lessons were learned immediately, and I wish I had chosen... The one thing where I'm like, in hindsight, like, oof, just for the sake of this series that I wish... Like, the one decision I wish I hadn't made was the decision to take the travel on its first journey while I needed to learn those lessons to the freaking far territory. Like that was the, deci the decision I made. So through Forlorn Musket, through Broken Railroad, through the Far Branch Line, like it's just a lot. Okay, so a couple of wolves. Possibly three. going to try and avoid them. And back off a bit. Thankfully, they're a little bit to my right, which is where I want them to be. I just want to keep a very close eye. There we go. Perfect. And I also want to look for a third one, if there is potentially a third one. Alright, this is not exactly Skyrimable. Or goatable, if you will. Although this is. Okay. Not bad. bit of a storm coming in now, but I would like to, before any more time passes, before the storm gets worse, I would like to visit that train car and potentially piss off some wolves. Tell you what, we can deal with this in an appropriate way. Oh, they didn't react. That's interesting. There we go. I think they did, actually. I just don't think I heard them. I think they did react. Alright, there's a pry bar. Is it better condition? Damn it! I literally just saw the words pry bar on the screen. And then I go to click, and in that exact moment... Let the memes continue. Nice. Alright, well, there's some revolver ammo to make up for what just happened. And there's an extra rifle round. That is why I came in here. By let the memes continue, what I'm referring to there. Hang on, there's another. I think one of the wolves ran behind the train car here. I'm gonna run straight down this way to avoid pissing it off. In an earlier series, I was very, very trigger happy with this thing. It doesn't help that my new mouse, unbeknownst to me when I bought it, it's a nice mouse and I'm really happy with it, but like. The buttons are more sensitive than the previous one. Like, it's easier for my finger just to, like, push down on the button, even when I'm not misclicking, when it's just, like, literally an accidental click. And that was a misclick a moment ago where I went for the pry bar, because I was pointing at it, and then as I went to click, I guess I slightly moved the mouse. All right, so there's some cattails on the other side of me. I'm going to pull a forlorn muskeg here, though, and I'm going to avoid picking those up, because I need to go ahead and get to shelter. Also need to get to a stopping point here. Could be a wolf ahead of me here. Need to be mindful of that. There's a demon behind me. Now, 
Now, truth be told, I don't have to go back to the camp office at this point. I have repaired my, uh, my bedroll. Not fully. I still want to look for more ptarmigan, but I've repaired it enough that I feel good about it. So there's a part of me that just wants to keep going, you know? Because we're at the ravine. And speaking of momentum, I think that's what I'm going to do. I do want to, like, look through the dam. We're going to do that. We're going to look through these buildings. We're going to look through the dam. That's going to be the next episode. But then by the end of the next episode, we'll probably be making our way into Upper Bleak Inlet. I was about to say Broken Railroad again. But Upper Bleak Inlet as the uh, end of the next one. Unless something horrible derails me, which is always possible. It's the long dark. But, um... That's likely what we're going to be looking at for the next episode or two. And then from there, again, just look at the signal void objectives. We have to investigate the signal of Bleak Inlet. Don't know what that means. We've got to go back to Hush River Valley, so we will be going back to Milton at some point. But there are also, um, there's the Pleasant Valley transmitter, which we have to repair. So we have to make our way in that direction as well. So before we go back to Milton, I would imagine we're going to take care of that. And then once this is taken care of, we can actually head to the new zone at last. So that's one of the reasons I want to maintain some momentum as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For early episodes, channel emotes, and member badges, look for the join button. New episodes drop at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every day but Wednesday, and comments are always welcome. So leave your thoughts below, and I'll see you next time.